this lake is my ancestral home. And the home of my childhood. teenage years. This lake is a holy, holy place to me. The winds are like nothing else. <sighs> For clearing the soul. I love this lake with the depth and breadth of every bone in my body. And those mountains across the way are the home of my upbringing, the Adirondack Mountains. I don't know if I can zoom in on them a little bit. The place of my beginning in life is here. I'm sitting on the sandbar, which is the only road from the mainland to the island of South Hero, where I have many wonderful friends. I'm so blessed. There's a lot of traffic because there's a lot of uh, tourists this time of year. And it's also the only route to get to the ferry that crosses from the shores of Vermont to New York State. I'm sitting on a rock and all around me on the ground are cigarette butts. It breaks my heart. It breaks my heart because, first of all, the signs of addiction everywhere. And I don't say that from a judgmental place because I've been there. I was there for a long time. So I know it quite well. And the other part is the so little regard and respect for the holy. It's the other heartbreaking part. And the other thing that it doesn't escape me is the use of the tobacco for addictive purposes. And tossing not the tobacco, which the ancestors who lived here before the Europeans came had a very sacred relationship with. To them, tobacco was an offering to our mother, to Creator, to this land that sustains us. It was an offering. And I can't help but notice not the tobacco on the ground here as an offering. But the empty remnants already used as a crutch. in a culture that no longer honors the holy.